Hi, South Point friends. It's Joe here. I'm part of the South Point team. And if you don't know me specifically, I'm the elementary director here at South Point. But this week, I just want to be your friend and learning partner as we do this week's devotional on the YouVersion Bible app. Friends, I don't know about you, but I find it overwhelming and confusing um, the amount of information we're able to gather at a moment's notice in, in the technology advanced world that we live in. Um, our friend Google will pull back tons of information um, and 30 seconds or less I can find so much information on any given topic. Our social media feeds will give us opposing viewpoints on any topic. You name it and you can find an opposing viewpoint. I don't know about you but I find it just some days so overwhelming the amount of different opinions that you can find or just even in our everyday conversations. Um, people just have so many different opinions. Some of them I agree with and some of them I don't. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like we as a society have just become so negative in our responses. So how can we turn that around, friends? Um, have you? Do you feel the same way? Have you been in a similar situation? How about at work where the conversation turns to politics and you just want to say, wait a minute, you're wrong, you're wrong. But what's the best way to respond? Or how about at a family gathering where the conversation turns to religion and you have so many opposing views on what the correct way is to do something in, in religion? Um, how do you respond? How do you um, be nice and be kind and, and prevent the negativity from just going on and on? Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about this week. You know, God calls us to love everybody. And that means even people we disagree with. So, so that's what we're going to be exploring this week. How do we respond in love to people we don't agree with? Um, you can connect with us this week on the YouVersion Bible app by going to South Point for You slash connected and, and enjoying the conversation. It takes about five minutes a day to read the little devotional um, and I'd be so happy if you would just place a comment so we can all learn from each other um, because I think it's important that we learn to respond correctly as Christians, that we do what Jesus commanded us to do and to love our neighbors as ourselves. And how do we do that in this time where everybody has their own opinion and it's a lot of times very negatively put out there? So how do we respond in love and kindness? So friends, please join me um, at southpointforyou.com slash connected. Um, I hope to see you this week.